The Poe Castle. Is this an Irish whiskey you should be buying? We'll let you know in the review. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskey. Today, we are going to be doing an Irish and a age dated Irish. This is a 12 year old. I'm sorry if I say this wrong, but I'm going to say <laughs> Napo is what I think it is. Napo Castle, What's 12 year Irish whiskey. Single malt. Fun part, I was trying to look up a little bit more information about this whiskey and everything is not right in what I was looking up. <laughs> There's a whole bunch that are 80 proof. There's a whole bunch that are like 86 proof or something like that. Okay. And, and then I read special barrel release and it's 92 proof. Oh. So it's got a little bit, a little extra. Is this like a, for a 12 year old. This year only kind of thing? Or? I have no idea. If Yes, I don't know. Bad at that. I don't know. I'm uh, okay with an Irish whiskey that's 12, 12 years old. 12 years old that's and exciting. over 90 proof. Yeah. That's two very exciting things for me because a lot of the Irish whiskeys, I mean, uh, outside of like red breast, I don't think there's not. I, was I haven't say, had that one. many that are age dated. And the spots, right? Uh, yeah. 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 A couple that are. They're, they're, they specify that they're in the age range, I think. Look at that color. That's pretty light. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. It almost has like this light greenish kind of tint. I don't know. It's, I, it's I, an interesting color. To, to me, it's it's almost like a morning pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say but I'm sure it tastes mad, better. But... Smells better. All that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So we're talking 12-year-old whiskey. We're talking oh. 92 proof. 100% malted barley, triple distill process, all that kind of good stuff. And it's all finished in X bourbon cast. Okay. That's some color there. Oh, I don't That's know. That's nice. I think this is, I think Nancy would like this one. Oh my gosh. Delicious. It's a really sweet green apple. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I could it's, go there. It smells so crisp. Oh my gosh. There's a little bit of a sharpness to it. Um, and I don't know if that's the proof or if that's all the copper coming off of it that some oh. Irish whiskeys have a little of that sharpness, but real strong fruit notes. Yeah, definitely strong apple. Fruit. If I go down way honey. deep, I get some. I get. I get a little bit of wood. I get a little bit of barrel. Oh, 12 years. Way down in there. Oh, it smells great. And this, this is first fill. Great. This may be first fill ex bourbon barrels. So. That might be a little bit more of the wood too. The legs on that guy. That's yeah. gonna have a nice little mouthfeel. Yeah, all right, I'm let's... interested. Let's go. Mm. All right, touch sharp at the very like at the very beginning. It's like yeah. uh, it's yeah. like it's just it pokes you a little bit. And then we go into like strong fruit. Gosh, this like honeysuckle sweetness. Honeysuckle. That's exactly what it is. Oh, I'm drooling and, <laughs> and oh, that's great. That's great. And that's... there's a little wood impact in that too. Yeah, we got, like not totally drying, but there's a little bit of a wood note. But honeysuckle is perfect. It's very herbal honey. Notes. Yes, herbal honey. But yeah, yeah like just like mm. you pulled the little. Yeah, flower Little right thing, out there yeah. and, and suck on that honey. Yeah, Man. totally that. Yeah, the honey floral note really. The, the second, yeah, very floral, floral, floral honey. Floral. Yeah, the, um, uh, like if you get like good organic like herbal honey where it kind of picks up like the clover type notes yeah. to it, like that kind of a thing. Yeah, way less like the, like the, the apple notes are like the f more fruit notes have kind of dissipated a little bit. That honey sweetness, that herbal honey honeysuckle. Yep. Ah. Oh. But there's still that, I want to say almost a metallic note at the very, as soon as you put it on your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's like a little sharp, a little metallic. It needs to be right in the front of my tongue. Yes. Yeah. And it's weird that a 12-year-old has that. Like, I just wouldn't expect that. But I still think like that triple distill gives that almost like a penny note, like a copper note type. Like yeah. it kind of comes off of just a, a funny well, little sharpness. Yeah, not tinny, but yeah, I get it. I get it, yeah. Oh, anyway, all right. I like this guy. There's nothing wrong with that so far. No, no. And I like the proof, like almost a little warmth coming off of it. Mm -hmm. So that that feels nice. What do we think here? I'm More I'm thinking it's going to go sweet. Sweet. Like, hun the the honey and fruit are just going to like kick way up. Hopefully, you get a little more barrel notes. We'll see. Possible. We'll see. Very possible. Let's we'll see. Uh, a little bit of a creamy note, maybe. With the... Maybe. Similar, yeah, very nearly. similar nose, but I got yeah, like something very else similar going on. note. But I was gonna say it's almost vanilla. a little icing ish. Yeah, vanilla. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like a creamy it's, vanilla. It's icing. not a super strong vanilla note that you get from bourbon, but it's a uh, yeah. But yeah, there's a I touch of it, a little bit of an icing note. Mm. 
Ooh, yeah. that opened up that barrel, a barrel note all the way through. Like it's not that it's not as sharp at the very beginning, but now there's like a nice little barrel. Yeah, that icing, that Something. vanilla note, and then is, all is, that is yeah, it's all in there. Ooh, I think wow. water did good things there. It did. Water did very good things there. Yeah, that honeysuckle got yeah, it transformed into more of like more honey. Uh, just well, I mean, less floral, less herbaceous. I'm getting tons of yeah, tons of vanilla. Yes, man, a lot of vanilla, a lot of vanilla. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that that changed it, but it doesn't have that weird little sharp note, that barrel note that kind of kind of comes through in the tip of the tongue and then all the way down to the back of the palate. Like it's there the whole time instead of just like this weird little sharp thing at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, that I was gonna say that. That's nice. Tinny coppery is gone. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that, gone. Yeah. Totally agree with that. That little man. metallic note. So this is uh. All right, I don't remember the dates or any of that kind of stuff, but th this couple bought this castle. Oh, so geez. the the Napo Castle, they bought that, and their the wife was like a architect or something. So they're doing all this redesigning and and just bringing this castle back to life, and decided to start making whiskey and name it after the castle. And all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's cool. I want to say this may be... Yeah, this one is sourced from Cooley. I want to say that's right. So so that's sourced from... They do a lot of... I think Walsh used to source some of their stuff from there. There's okay. a couple different distilleries, Irish distilleries that source out of there. So I think that they're doing from Cooley. But they wanted to do something in honor of the castle that they basically brought back to life. And that's not too shabby. Yeah, though. that's good stuff. That is not too shabby. At I thought all. you were going to say they went to the basement and found ah yeah cases there of this, uh, yeah some story there right yeah but no that's that that's that's pretty cool but so the twelve is like their baseline and then I I want to say I don't remember the years there's like an eighteen and a twenty one but basically so they all of them start as this and then if it's the eighteen they do six years and finishing in sherry cast or something like that like okay. that's how they, they all start this way and then add the extra age by finishing in something else wow yeah I so it makes me really interested something. to find something else from there because this yeah. is this is a great base to mess around with it's a great right bottle too pumps. love i mean i love the bottle i, I the like the coloring is the nice castle in, the, in the middle yep. of the image the seal Absolutely. the coat of arms up top yeah Gaelic definition, Napogue, right there. Hill of the Kiss. Hill of the Kiss. Okay. <laughs> this is limited, so we might need Yeah, to this particular one. one is a limited... It's it, probably a limited release. I don't know if they always, every once in a while, do that. or But their regular releases are either um, 80 proof or... I want to say it was 42. Three ABV, so eighty-six proof. 86 proof. Okay. Um, so I think those are the kind of the normal releases. This this one's a little different, but I like it. It's it's, it's the right proof. It everything comes through really nice there. Yeah, it's got all the things I love about Irish whiskey. Yeah, it definitely hits the fruit notes, the what sweetness. You expect Man, from Irish fantastic. whiskey. That's a good point. Go get it. Yeah, if you see this bottle, big recommendation. I think it's totally worth it. I want to say it's around $45 uh, for a 12-year-old whiskey. Wow. That's a great price. Yeah. But I don't think you can beat that. So totally recommend grabbing this one. I mean, I'd put this up against some of the spots. and I mean, that would be fun to do a lineup and see. It would be interesting, like, this 12-year-old versus Red Press 12. Yeah. Might be an interesting, there, there's an interesting uh, blind taste I mean, test there. It seems sweeter to me. Like, I, I don't know. I would gravitate to some of the notes on this guy. I don't know. Thanks for watching our review of the the Pogue uh, 12 year old special release. Uh, definitely recommend it. Think you can't go wrong get, grabbing a bottle of this. I think it's really good stuff and uh, really looking forward to finding something else from them. Yeah, a little um, bit more age. Oh, yeah. I wanna see what's going on. With, with, a, a, with a different finish. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sherry finish. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, so. If you enjoy reviews like this, we were just, Love any support you could uh, share with us. Uh, we're looking to continue to grow and, and always looking for a little support from the people that are watching us. So, For sure. All right. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.